Right, hi guys, I've had loads of requests to redo this video and it's how to set up a virtual machine or virtual machine to troll Fatex support scammers. So what we're going to first do is we're going to download these two programs. There will be links in the description. You can see here Fake CMD on Mega and Fake Syskey on Dropbox. We're going to download those and what we're going to do is we're going to first, I'm going to show you that it runs. So in Fake CMD you can type tree and it does a fake scan. I'm not going to let it all go through but it says there's nothing wrong with the computer. Um, and fake syskey you can see here doesn't hide the password and it says fake syskey scammer so to put these in the place of the normal ones we are going to go into Windows Explorer go to the C drive Windows System32 and we're going to right click on it go to properties then go to security advanced then here where it says trusted installer you need to press change and here we're going to type the username in so we're going to check the username you can see it's user with a capital U user we're just going to press OK and we're going to press OK here as well and then go to edit and then go to users full control and just press OK and you're going to here we're going to press continue then we're just going to hold enter because it keeps coming up for some reason uh, we're going to just hold enter until it stops like that and we can just close out of these we now have ownership of system 32 so we're going to first go to CMD press F2 to rename, rename it to CMD1 we're going to go to syskey rename it to syskey1 and we're then going to open a new Windows Explorer window and we're going to put it in a folder like pictures we're just going to put both these executables in there because the scammers are unlikely to look in there compared to on the desktop so we're going to go back into the other window and we're going to right click new shortcut then we're going to go to browse and we put them in pictures so it's user and pictures and we're going to first do CMD just press OK next and we're going to name it just CMD all lowercase and the same again right click new shortcut browse for user pictures fake syskey OK next and I'm just going to call it syskey all lowercase now if that's fake syskey and fake CMD installed I can show you here you know, it's the fake one, a, 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 a. you can just type in whatever, uh, OK, doesn't hide the password and shows that. So that's fake syskey and fake CMD installed, I'll also show you that. You can see it's the fake version. So what we're going to do next after we've got fake syskey and fake CMD installed is we're going to clear the event viewer. So to do that we're going to go into uh, PowerShell and type this command here. We're going to type in here PowerShell, right click on it, run as administrator and press yes and when it loads up you'll see a thing that says system32 just wait for that there we go we can now control V it in just paste and press enter and you probably will get an error message saying it failed to clear it but believe me it will clear it I'll show you in the event viewer as soon as the commands finished running so you can see the commands finished running now and if we run event viewer and go to custom views and administrative events you should see when the events would load zero events so the scammer will be shocked by that. Finally we're going to make the virtual machine look like a host machine so we're going to close out the virtual machine and you can see here we're in documents, virtual machines and the virtual machine that we're using and we're going to look for the VMX file. If you don't have the file extensions on it looks like this VMware virtual machine configuration and we're going to copy this code in here. I, didn't, I don't take credit for this, I learned how to do this from stop phone scammers. We're going to right click and open with notepad and at the very bottom we're going to just do a new line and type that and we're going to save it and we can double click on that it should open VMware and we should be able to start the virtual machine again and once it's loaded up I will go into MS Info 32 and show you the results okay you can see we're back at the desktop of the virtual machine we're just going to right click and go into MS Info 32 like the scammer might and you can see here it doesn't say VMware Virtual Platform, it says MSI which is the manufacturer of my motherboard so you can see that's worked correctly the only issue is if they go into the task manager here and they go to performance it still says virtual machine yes, I'm not sure how to get rid of that yet but I think this will be good enough make sure there's no VMware tools icon as well, just right click and disable icon and you should be good, the scammers shouldn't notice because they're pretty stupid and when they request system information they should also get your host information rather than the, the manufacturer VMware, it will say the manufacturer of your motherboard, which is a lot better. That's about it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.